It's blowing your mind learning with Lyle Dewey. We're here to create a vector image in Adobe Animate using an awesome reference. Welcome to the next edition of Blow Your Mind Learning with Lyle Dilly. Uh, we're going to go and look at uh, how to uh, start creating some vector images within Adobe Animate. Now, as some people who know me, you know that I love Adobe Illustrator. Uh, and uh, I use Adobe Illustrator in a lot of my animations. But what a lot of people don't know is that you can do actually pretty intricate vector designs within Adobe Animate if you know where the buttons are and I'm gonna show it to you alright so last time uh, that we saw each other we actually made this really uh, uh, put together uh, one of my drawings uh, this uh, this neat little um, uh, cow I want the cow to be a little different color I want to have a different look uh, a little bit smoother um, than the, the the sketch that I did alright so uh, let's let's take a look at it real quick, okay? So let's begin this lesson. Right now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this cow. All right, and uh, uh, take a look at it. I have uh, pulled in um, the pho Photoshop file. And I have the main body, which I went ahead and put on the board here. Okay, uh, I have actually put it and made it into a. Uh, guide um, by right clicking and making it a guide I can ensure that this image if I leave it on the board won't actually go into my final animations so I'm using it as a reference okay um, I'm gonna go go ahead and also make it slightly transparent so as to make this a little bit easier to uh, to go ahead and do as I'm trying to draw it so it can be used as a, as a more easier reference all right so I'm going to go ahead and go into here. We can see that I already started a little bit. Okay. What we have right here is I have some vectors that I put in. I have uh, a little circle that I made. Uh, some, uh, s some, some circles that I have for the nostril. Uh, I have a couple circles for the eyes and stuff. Okay. What I did though is I used the primitive tools. Primitive tools ensures that the actual uh, shapes stay vectors. All right. I personally like it where I'm using these oval tools and we click over to properties here I can make sure that it stay that this stuff stays as a um, if you look right here I'm gonna make sure that the stuff basically stays as a uh, just uh, uh, an outline I don't want to fill okay that way I can better see what I'm doing so I'm making shapes like say this eye let me go ahead and redo one of these eyes so you can see it. All right. So when I'm do redoing one of the eyes, I can go ahead, click on the primitive tool, hold down the shift key, and I've got uh, a cool shape. Uh, sometimes I do like to have it where it's uh, red. So it's really easy to see. You can always change colors really easy within Flash. So I keep it red. And then hold the shift key again to get the center. Now, some are like, well, you know, this isn't really a thing. This is just an outline. Remember, though, that the fill button down here makes it really, really easy to color. So I can easily take these shapes that's part of the selection, color them, because they're just shapes. So I can color the shapes. I could use the fill keys to color the shapes. So if I wanted to go ahead, go to the fill button, click on white, I can easily just color the two shapes. You can go back onto here, color the eye. Now if you notice I didn't click the center, I clicked the edge. That way I can make sure that I uh, select the, um, the actual vector and I'm filling it. If you try to do the center, there's a chance maybe it might select a different image. So always click the inner edge of, uh, of one of the vectors in order to properly color. Okay? Now. This is pretty simple stuff, okay? So what I want to do now is show you two other things to help you start creating shapes. One is you've noticed I have uh, this really cool vector of uh, the edge, okay? I have a really cool uh, edge right here, all right? 
So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to use this uh, pin tool, okay? And I'm going to go click, click, hold, all right, to start getting the edge here. Click hold. You notice that it's kind of getting weird. That's okay. We can fix it in a second. Don't panic yet. Don't panic yet. I'm going to show you how to fix it. Okay. Then I'm going to click and finish the object. Okay. Now here's what I'm talking about. Don't panic yet. All right. What we need to do is just quickly fix this vector. All right. Just like an illustrator, you just go over here to the sub selection tool, click on it, and then click the edge. Now, if I hold down the Alt key, okay. I can actually, oh, make sure I've got to select it right, hold down the Alt key, and look, I can now adjust all of these individually and quickly make the shape that I need it to be. Pretty cool, right? So now I can go ahead and do the inside real quick. Click. Uh, it's hard to click on it, so a lot of times I like to start clicking back on the outside boom now I have a complete shape all right now I know what some of you guys are gonna say I can already see it you're gonna say well wow this is actually not a vector this is a bitmap you're right okay all right you can tell that it's a bitmap because it's got all those little dots inside it dot 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 all around those those edges that means it's a bitmap well, you know, it takes two seconds to turn these bitmaps into a vector for you to affect later. All you need to do is go over here, go to Modify, go to Combine Objects, and select Union, which will automatically convert any bitmap back to a vector. Right? And look, it is still an outline. It kept the outline. It kept the stuff. Now I have a fill. I have a, a, a vector that I can use. All right? Now we can use this in order to make sure that we do other stuff as well, okay? Um, so that I can create even more complex objects. All right? So we have this weird shape of the head. I mean, look at this shape. The shape's kind of bizarre. You'll be a bit better of things. It's got these two kind of circles here, circle here, circle here. And then you've got kind of long snout. Well, how do I create that in a vector within Flash? Well, we do a thing where we basically combine objects. We combine objects in order to create this, okay? So I'm going to do a vector kind of design in order to do that. But I'm actually going to do something um, a little bit different. It's basically vector, back to bitmap, back to vector. All right. Now, to make sure that we don't mess up any of our other shapes, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. Lock the layer below so I don't mess it up. All right. Let's call this the head. And let's go ahead and start creating the shape. All right. First thing that I want to do is um, we can do like we did before. Uh, we could actually go around the edges and select it and start eventually getting to these shapes right but I'm going to challenge you to do it slightly different way um, you can find that it actually starts becoming more precise by using the primitive tools and starting with vectors so if I oh let me make sure there's no fill don't want no fill okay so I can really see what I'm doing You see, now I've got this really cool kind of shape. Using my keyboard to do it. Now you notice, right, that already that uh, my shapes are kind of going around the outside of this. Well, that's because I want it to be a little bit more precise. I know that when I drew it with my charcoal pen that it is not exactly a perfect circle. But by using these vectors and actually using these circles, I can actually create a more perfect circle in order for it to work, okay? so. I can use that to, um, you know, create all these kind of really cool shapes. So I can go into here. There's actually a really cool technique where you kind of overlay them too. You can do that. You could even just uh, take a, um, you, you could take a line 
and pull it across as well okay um, and if you notice we've got this really nice swooping curve on the top of the head so let's go on here and do these bottom ones right so uh, I'm gonna go ahead go back to my circle perimeter tool okay Uh, I'll take a circle here, all right, and I'm also going to uh, take a circle here, all right, and I'm going to combine them using lines. Go from here to here, here, all right, use my space bar to get a little better. Remember, I can adjust it. It's still a vector. The line is a vector here, so I can adjust it. I'm going to do the same over here. Here. Click and drag. All right. And look, I even let this open to merge these together. Okay. Now, this is going to go behind it, so I'm not, I don't need it necessarily to be super precise, so I'm not going to, okay? And then, finally, to match the other side, I'm going to click from here to here. All right? Once I'm done with that, remember I made it at a different um, edge, I can go ahead and combine them like this. There's all sorts of different ones. We have these vectors. We have these things. It's all starting to kind of combine together. Now, uh, in order to make sure that this becomes a perfect thing, I'm going to go ahead and go insert. I'm going to go to um, combine objects union, all right, which converts it all into there. Then I'm going to go to modify, convert to bitmap, break it apart, all right? And, um, wait, before I do all that, hold on. I got one thing. Now I can fill it all. Look. I'm going to switch it all to black. Once I switch it all to black, okay, and convert it to uh, break it apart I suddenly have a fill look it's a solid fill and then when I go back to modify alright and I go to combine objects in union boom it converts it uh, back to um, a vector so I can go back and forth a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and group this object alright and now I have a complete fill that's vector that I can outline and do all sorts of cool stuff with it. Okay? I'm going to take the head. I'm going to move it behind here. And you can already start seeing that I'm starting to create a really cool vector. All right? Uh, that we can animate and do all stuff. Made a really cool reference so that I can go ahead and start modifying this and creating a really cool uh, vector image um, that I can be really proud of and to animate here in Adobe Animate. Thanks for listening. Um, this is one of those things you need to practice off, going back and forth between the two, going on uh, to <coughs> the edges and creating different vectors. Um, it is what it is. So just, uh, just practice, have fun with it, and um, uh, uh, can't wait to see all the cool uh, vector drawings that come out of Flash. All right? Thanks.